What's up everyone, this is MoGaming here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get out of this Welcome Back to PlayStation screen. So a lot of you people are, uh, actually some of you guys actually hit me up and left a comment that you're getting this, not necessarily an error, but you're stuck on this screen and you can't use your controller to move out of it. Uh, like, so you're basically pressing the button and the PlayStation button, nothing's happening, so what do you do? So I actually have a few possible solutions that ended up working for certain people, different solutions. So first one is I would recommend you connecting your controller with a wire and directly to your controller and then ensuring that, that it works or not. If you try this and it still doesn't work, that's fine. You can move on to step two. But I actually seen a lot of people where the problem was just that the controller itself just lost I guess the Bluetooth connection directly to the PlayStation 4, so it stopped working. So that's number one that I would recommend you to do. Number two is, and this one seems a little bit silly, is just restarting your PlayStation 4. And obviously you can't do it from your controller anymore, and do not pull the plug from the back, because that's probably not the right way to do this. Uh, what you're going to do is, you're going to hold the power button, and you're actually going to hold it for like 10 seconds uh, until you hear two beeps. A PlayStation 4 sucks, it doesn't even beep at all. So it most likely beeped once. You're gonna press it again for this, uh, you're gonna hold it for a little longer. So you actually see it preparing to turn off screen. If you hold it just once or you just press it for a little while, it actually goes into rest mode. The goal is for it to actually go into a like, complete turn off mode over here. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into safe mode and try two things to essentially make sure your PlayStation 4 basically gets out of that screen now this could be happening like I said one it's the data connection issue itself happening causing this to occur or you know there's possibly a little bit of an error or corruption within the data that's causing this to occur so the PlayStation 4 is turned off we're gonna go into safe mode and to go into safe mode it's similar step has how you turn it off you hold the PlayStation 4 but the power button for about 10 seconds until you hear two beeps again my PlayStation 4 sucks you don't hear any beep at all but um, I, I just know the timing myself, so I'll let it go now. So it's about like, like I said, it's 10 seconds. And as you can see, boom, we are now in the safe screen or safe mode. Now in safe mode, you can't use your controller via Bluetooth either. Like I said, so you have to have it connected with the wire. And once you're in here, you will press the PlayStation button and you'll see the, basically the, uh, it will end up working. So let's see. All right, so as you can see, I'm now in, it's connected, and I can move it. The analog stick does not work here, just an FYI. A lot of people usually get confused and they're so used to analog stick that they're like, oh, it's not working. It is, you just gotta use the D-pad. Now in here, we're gonna try two things. One was essentially the restarting PS4, that exactly that I mentioned, but from within safe mode, as you know, your controller's working. So the goal is like, okay, it's working, let's try it now, and let's see if the PlayStation 4 works. If that does not work, the second step is, rebuilding your database because if there's any possible corruption happening you can just get your database rebuilt and in theory it should basically resolve that screen it should get rid of it and it should not occur anymore you can do a final scenario which is number six or seven which is basically reformatting a ps4 i would not advise you to do this it's not worth it for just a silly screen like that these methods work try them out like i said i mentioned these to to the few people that had the problems they tried this it all worked. One or the other worked. <laughs> so no one had to reinitialize or initialize their PlayStation 4, which means reformatting the PlayStation 4. So I would just recommend trying those few first and then taking it from there. So yeah, that was about it. So I do hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell on that Mogaming out. Peace.